Pertit here, Katie Pertit Designs. And I am so excited to reveal to you my very first collection designed for the partnership with 49 and Market and Sussex. It's an assortment of stamps and dies and standalone stamps that I think you will find super versatile, just like all the collections I've designed for 49 and Market. A variety of uses and it's just a sampling of what's to come. I've been really working hard and have a lot more things in the queue for you and they're gonna keep coming and coming and I'm excited to inspire you as I share these new designs with you. So I'm gonna flip my camera around and show my desktop and walk through some samplings of things that I've done with the collections and I'll look forward to bringing you plenty of tutorials and videos in the weeks and months to come showing how to use these products. All right, here we go. All right, we have got the pencil line leaves, stamps, and dies. So there are 11 stamps and then one die to cut out the piece. And I'm gonna just briefly show you a couple of leaves showing how different you can make things look with these stamps. So you can see on the back, you're getting lots of splashes. You can see them here, various splashes and various layers for your stamps. You don't have to use the stamps and layers. This piece just use the die and then I paint it on it. And this piece again, just use the die and the pencil line stamp. And then I painted it. Here you can see the variety of the stamps and the effects that you can create. I used a lot of the spritzing of your stamp technique where you ink it and then you spritz it and then you stamp it. And this one, I hand drew the leaf over this piece. So, so many different things you can do here. And like I said, look forward to uh, future videos to come showing different techniques and projects. I will be focusing on just one pack on future videos, but I wanna show you this whole release. So that was the pencil line leaves. Then we have the pencil line botanical that has seven stamps and one die. The die is to cut out our botanical. And just to show you a few examples of things that I have made with these stamps and dies, some tags. I use the sentiment strips are from printables on my site to give us some instant sentiments and a different tag. This is showing the botanical cutout after it's been painted and stamped. This is simply with the pencil line stamp alone and then cut out. And I made this card with that. Using the Gardenia um, paper, six by eight papers, a printable strip from my site, added a little paint over it and a lovely simple card ready to go right there. There's also, as you can see on the cover here, some extra little butterfly stamps. And I used the technique again of painting on my stamp and spritzing it to create this artsy tag. All right, so that is the pencil line botanical set. Now we have the pencil line butterflies. So do you get kind of my theme here? Had the pencil line leaves, pencil line botanicals, and now the pencil line butterflies. All the things I love. That's what I'm starting off with here with Sussex. All right, so here you can see we've got the pencil line stamps, and then there are layered stamps to be able to create painted effects. Hard to see. I'm here, let me see if I can open the packaging and show you a little bit better. So you can see the different stamp layers. 
So you would like stamp this one as your base lighter, and then I would go darker as I build it up. So lighter, medium, and dark, or you can just do this top layer for the splash. It all depends on the effect that you wanna create. And that's what makes these sets so versatile, is that you don't have to use all the layers in order to create the finished piece. And here I go again with this tab. Fold it over and stick this back in here. And I'll just leave it, how about that? Okay, and I've got a few samples here to show you made with the pencil line stamp, the layered stamps, and the die cut. And this one I just die cut out of one of the 49 and Market gardenia papers. And this one I had lots of fun with. I used um, a mask from the uh, Frisket film that Sissix offers. And then I used some of the other stamps, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. And I embossed the pencil line and hand painted over that. And for that vibrant color, I used uh, the Lindy's Gang's Magical Shakers, which are so fun. They really give a fresh, unexpected color vibe to your projects. Okay, so we've had, um, we've had leaves, we've had botanicals, we've had butterflies, and now we have mushrooms, right? Yay. Okay, so we have the pencil line mushrooms. We've got two um, main elements with dies, and they have pencil lines and various stamps to create the layering effect. And then we have some extra added bonus stamps. So I'll open this up again so that you can see the layers. So you see the layers there. And you can see all the splashes and the paint. So when I take these and stamp, I don't have a sample here, but I will be having future videos that will show you. You paint on the stamp. So you paint like the top of your mushroom and the stem and the uh, grasses and then you spritz them with water and stamp them for a lovely artsy look or as you can see from here you don't need to fill it in you can just use the pencil line sketch approach and because I keep showing the texture I'm going to jump to that stamp which is this one and it is the cluster mix stamp and it's got a die for the floral, which you can see here. And we'll open this one up too. So you can see the stamp. So if you look at this tag, you can see that I stamped it to give some texture, some typographic texture to the back of my project. And for making this card, again, I used the gardenia papers and a sentiment strip, printable sentiment strip from my site. And then I hand colored in with um, my Durant, Durant, I don't know if I pronounced that right, ink tense colored pencils and, and painted those from there. All right, so just showed you the pencil line mushrooms. And so we've got leaves, botanicals, butterflies, mushrooms. We've got a vintage botanical cluster. We've got some dragonflies and butterflies. So this set has three stamps and three dies. Open it up here so you can see the stamps are engravings and then the dies cut them out. So you can color them in yourself or you can take some of the splashes
from some of the other stamp sets and add some watercolor vibe that way. Or for this one, I used watercolor crayon right on the stamp and sprayed it and then stamped it and got this um, effect here. And these are simply stamped and die cut. All right, well, that's not all. I'm gonna keep going here. I also have, now I don't have the sample um, package yet, but I've got my Hello You sentiment stamps. So this is a standalone stamp set of just 13 stamps. And there's some sentiments, some unique splashes. These are not the same splashes that you're gonna see in these other collections. They are unique to this one. And this is a card front that I made using these stamps and then I colored it in. And this is fabric tape from the Crafty Garden and a card base is um, from Crafty Garden. No, actually this one is from Kaleidoscope for designed for 49 and Market. All right, so we have got the pencil line sentiments in Hello You. So it all ties everything together. And then the last stamp set and I have is the layered frame stamp set. And in the catalog, you might see that I used this frame repeatedly. But I wanted to show that not only can you layer these items, but you can use them separately. So this was created using the Kaleidoscope collection I designed for 49 and Market, a printable sentiment street strip from my website, katiepartitdesigns.com, and the uh, scribbled circle. And I just stamped it in a bunch of different colors. And then I used some of my fabrics that I designed with Clothworks. So a wide mix of lots of my designs in this one little tag. And it's so cute, right? All right, so there you have it. This is my initial launch with Sussex and 49 and Market. And I look forward to showing you different ways to use these prod products and get creative with them. And I look forward to seeing what you do with these products too. So be sure you tag me in your social media posts and show me what you are making too. And if you liked this video, like and subscribe and any comments or questions or requests, be sure to ask them below as I always check the comments and do my best to reply to you. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you again here real soon. Bye.